Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna show you something I make like twice or maybe even three times a week, depending on uh, how I'm feeling. So one of the things I absolutely love making are almond flour waffles. do a lot of sugar or like white processed flour ever since my thyroid cancer um, surgery so I can't do a lot of stuff that I like spike up like in my insulin things like that so almond flour super super easy it's really just two tablespoons And because it's not uh, a flour and it's just nuts, you're just basically making a nut pancake. A little bit of oil, so it doesn't stick to the griddle. One egg. I found these like amazing like blue and brown eggs. They're amazing, so love that. One egg goes in there. Luckily, my trash can is right there. Efficiency! Um, then I like adding a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. Just one packet of sweetener. Just because I still do have a sweet tooth, you know. So. And then the other thing that I add, like a little bit of baking soda or baking powder, actually. And that way, you know, because it's not, ooh. Because <laughs> it's not a, a flower, you know, so it doesn't puff up when it's just on. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that's so funny. Um doesn't uh, fluff up like a regular flour pancake you know and if you use those things like bisquick or whatever like it actually comes with baking powder inside and that's why it's so fluffy so that's done open that up it already smells so good because of the pumpkin pie spice Look at these golden waffles. So yummy. I love these. I have these like probably once or twice a week. So. You know that the perfect thing for waffles is butter. I'm using probably like the most amazing sugar-free syrup I've ever found. I don't want to make it sound like an endorsement. But a lot of these like sugar-free syrups, like just like water, I don't know if you've ever tried those. It's really good. And that's it. I'm gonna go have breakfast now. Today I have a full day of shooting planned for you guys. <laughs> So I want to have something that's a little bit powerful, but not super heavy. So I'm going to make a shake. I'm going to make a, a little uh, low carb, no sugar uh, avocado shake. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is super simple. It's uh, a cup and a half of... I use... Uh, an, this is an almond cashew milk thing. Um, I like it a lot because it's kind of on the thicker side. If you are not lactose intolerant, you could totally just use regular milk. Um, or if you don't care about sugar. To that, we add a tablespoon of Greek yogurt. You can tell 
You can tell I do this a lot because I keep it like this in the fridge just for shakes. So. and half an avocado. This is really, really good. It's got lots of fiber, keep you super full. For me, it kind of keeps me full like way past lunch, so. That's that. Two packets of sweetener. trying to keep my sugar down and then for even more uh, fiber spinach so just a handful you guys might be like ooh spinach and avocado in a shake how could that possibly be any good but believe me it's actually tasty and it doesn't taste like vegetables it really doesn't so for me this is when you can like add your flavoring. So you can add peppermint, you can add vanilla, you can add hazelnut, you can add like chocolate extracts, not the real thing, right? So in my case, because it's morning, I like using green tea powder or matcha. I don't really ever measure it. I just like dump a, a, a bunch in. Then it goes on. Cork is plugged in. <laughs> and then, okay. And that's your shake. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe. Put your mask on. Don't go out too much. Uh, do all the safe, healthy things for you. And I will see you next time. Oh, I figured I'd do like a little taste test. So. Mm. It's super thick because that green tea powder, it actually tastes like green tea ice cream that's kind of melted, so it's like a green tea milkshake. So, like I said, doesn't taste like avocados, <laughs> doesn't taste like spinach. Um, it actually tastes really, really good, so give it a try. Bye.